Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. Let us continue discussion about Java basic concepts that is difference between JDK, JRE, JVM and JET. The topic I would like to discuss in this session is difference between JDK, JRE, JVM and JIT. Please watch this diagram for a while. Uh, try to get some observation here. The question and this diagram has some relation. Try to check and I want you prepare yourself some statements from this diagram. Then I will conclude the points. What is the observation you did? Please try to think. This diagram is somewhat related to your 10th class level set theory. Carefully observe. JDK is one set you can assume, JRE is another set you can assume, JVM is another set you can assume. Okay? It is a group of things. So, I would like to prepare some statements here, try to observe. First, you tell me JIT is a part of whom, JVM is a part of whom and JRE is a part of whom first you prepare there belongs to whom where they are available that is the first point if you say first interviewer will get good idea on what you are telling. So, let us prepare the statement what is the difference between JDK, JRE, JVM and J. First point you have to prepare JIT is a part of JVM, JVM is a part of JRE and JRE part of JDK first point. So, Second point you try to talk about only JDK. Okay? First point you have talk about place where they are available place. Second point I would like to discuss about JDK. Ah, tell me under the JDK you people prepare first statement abbreviation of JDK and second what it provides and third then using what then because what they are providing because what it contain and a fourth point using JDK what you can do these four points you try to prepare. So, tell me first point what is the abbreviation of JDK? JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It provides development tools and execution environment repeat once again JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It provides development tools and runtime environment. So, JDK contains development tool compiler and runtime environment JVM. So, using JVK, JDK we can develop compile and execute new applications and also we can modify existing applications. This is the point we can cover about JDK. So, uh, repeat once again please. First point what we discussed JIT is a part of JVM, JVM is part of JRE and JRE part of JDK. Then second point you try to talk about JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It provides development tools, development tools nothing but small small software, small small programs will be there. So, the programs which are meant for compilation and next decompilation, developing uh, some documentation, preparing the jar file. So, program preparation related any small small softwares are generally called what development tools. Uh, so, JDK provides development tools and runtime environment. So, JDK contains compiler and JVM. Hence, using JDK software, we can develop, compile and execute new applications and also we can modify existing applications also if required some enhancements if you want to do. So, these are the four points you have to tell. Can you can you tell me the same four points for JRE also? Next points you try to talk about JRE, the same four points. First point, JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. It provides only runtime environment. It does not provide any development tools. So, JRE contains only JVM. Hence, using JRE, we can only execute already developed applications, we cannot develop new applications. Okay? Using JRE, we can only execute already developed applications, we cannot develop new applications and also we cannot modify existing applications. Okay? That is the four points about JRE. So, next point try to tell me about JVM and tell me what is JVM abbreviation. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. It is a Java platform. 
it is called java platform because it is responsible to execute our java bytecode so repeat once again jvm stands for java virtual machine it is a java platform it provides interpreter plus jit using which we can run java bytecode by converting them into current os machine language then if you come to jit uh, so tell me what is a jit jit stands for just in time compiler it is responsible to help interpreter for executing java bytecode fast basically jit will improve the performance of java program execution so how jit will increase the performance of java program execution that we'll see in the next session at this minute just you try to remember jit will provide a performance more okay fast performance high performance it will provide jit to provide high performance uh, it will help the interpreter to execute java bytecode fast so we discussed what is the difference between jdk jre jvm and jit i have given little bit explanation i want you to repeat all the points quickly and then we will wind up this topic okay so summary point or whatever you feel so please try to recollect once again all the points try to talk along with me first point so now without looking at the diagram now you try to answer what are the point differences between jdk jre jvm and jit so tell me first point first point is depending on the place yeah first point you try to tell me about place jit is a part of jvm jvm is part of jd jre jre is a part of jdk second point you try to tell me about jdk jdk stands for java development kit it provides a development tools plus a runtime environment so jdk contains compiler plus jvm hence by using jdk software we can develop compile and execute new applications also we can modify existing applications that's all then you have to come you have to talk something about now jre and tell me same points you repeat jre stands for java runtime environment it provides only runtime environment doesn't provide any development tools so jre contains only jvm hence by using jre software we can only execute already developed applications you cannot develop new applications and also you cannot modify existing applications that's it that is about jre and now tell me fourth point about jvm jvm stands for java virtual machine it is a java platform it is called java platform because it is responsible for running java bytecodes jvm provides interpreter plus jit and some other components for running bytecode by converting into current os machine language that's a point about jvm and if you come to last point jit just in time jit stands for just in time compiler it helps interpreter to execute java bytecodes fast it improves the java program execution okay it give the high performance so jit is a part of hotspot technology what is hotspot technology what is how jit will increase the performance all these points we'll discuss in next session okay so i hope you got the complete clarity on difference between jdk jre jvm and jit okay so please try to prepare your own running notes uh, from the slides what we are playing here so that you can you can also by heart and read and remember this question is compulsory ask in the interview please by heart and remember and try to produce the answers correctly in a impressive way okay right so that's all about this session in the next session we are going to discuss different environments exist in the software development and in which environment which software we have to we have to install like jdk or jre jvm or jit what should you install let us try to understand in the next session okay thank you for watching this session video next session will we are going to meet thank you subscribe to nareshetty channel for more videos